Hello, I'm Jim Jones. I'm the director of marketing here at Don Hill. I'm at the NAB show this year, uh, 2011, in Las Vegas, and uh, we're in the Don Hill booth, and we wanted to share a little bit of what we have running in terms of the Don Hill storage system. I'm here with Peter Morgenthaler from Frame Linear, who is our application expert, and uh, he's going to answer some questions and tell us what we got going. Uh, Peter, I'll start first and just explain a little bit what we have in terms of the storage system. Uh, we're running the Dot Hill Assured Sand 3000. We have a storage array with an 8 gigabit fiber channel interface into a SAN. And all of that is networked over a, uh, a Storenext uh, file system that allows us to connect multiple edit stations and share the same content for video editing applications. Peter, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the application is that we have running? Basically, we are demoing a, uh, a good mid to high end Final Cut Pro shared storage workflow for um, meant for post production companies that have you know three, four, five edit suites all the way up to ten or twenty edit suites that they need to supply with enough uh, capacity to be able to function creatively and allow their editors to do as so much in real time for as they possibly can. We've got six simultaneous streams of 10-bit uncompressed 1080p video, and uh, the data rate aggregate for that is around 750 megabytes per second coming into this box you know, live at the same time. On the other side, we've got a smoke demo, an Autodesk smoke on Mac, uh, running another 400 megabytes per second of uh, uncompressed DPX frames. And it's all running off the same storage array, so we're running it right about 1,000 to 1,100 megabytes per second, and we still haven't reached the headroom of the system. The headroom, uh, we gauged it right at uh, 1,500 to 1,600 megabytes per second uh, reads and about 1,300 megabyte writes. So what you're saying is a setup like this would support uh, 6 to 8 to maybe 10 edit stations running in unpressed Right. What about uh, someone doing editing in a ProRes format? What would that translate? That's a very common workflow. Uh, ProRes has really afforded the industry a way to get excellent image quality without uh, having to go the uncompressed route. And that's really enabled uh, you know, storage systems like Dot Hill to provision a lot more edit suites. So, uh, say we're running in four, uh, ProRes Quad or 4444, it's the highest variant of ProRes. We could do up to 40 streams of ProRes Quad out of this system. and. Uh, you know, still have full performance, no dropped frames, and uh, still enabling top level creativity. Excellent, that's great. Well, Peter, we appreciate your help getting this set up. Uh, we've got a number of customers uh, that we have as examples. Uh, one of the ones that we're highlighting here is the uh, Warren Miller Entertainment, uh, which is running the, uh, the video that you see on the screen here. So, some high action. Uh, entertaining uh, video content for that. So uh, we hope you come uh, visit our website, uh, check us out, uh, look for Dot Hill Storage in the post-production environment, and uh, we'll see you soon.